So welcome to Fix It with Jeff. Today I'm going to give you the 2024 tour of our yard makeover that we did. So we're going to start down here. Um, I don't know if you saw my last year video, but we already had the furniture and the carpet. This year we added the gazebo. So we put a gazebo in here. This is a 16 by 12 gazebo. It's been working wonders with the screen and the curtain so we could block the sun in the late afternoon. And then we did a lot of work out here in the yard. So we got, first we'll start out with this hose reel. So I got this hose reel for like 80, 90 bucks or something like that from Amazon. Uh, mounted it here, I have a hose running to where my hoses are at. We have climbing roses that we planted, my wife and I. And my wife did the mulching and the limiter and and uh, came up with this idea. So we have climbing roses here and then we have a clematis here. We're starting to put rock around the pool. We have our what we call our backdrop wall. So it kind of blocks the sun in the afternoon and blocks some other things. Uh, we did, we planted these um, evergreens and these thujas they're called mulch the whole area so we put the concrete uh, concrete in the ground for the posts they were 16 foot tall posts they're coming down to about 12 feet and plywood panels painted them so that was a little bit of a project we started working on this probably late april early may we started revamping the backyard. Um, so we've got a little lighthouse. We're gonna show you later on. You'll see later on in the video, everything lit up. Uh, these are called fat mini um, dwarf Alberts, Alberta trees. So they're gonna be small, but they're gonna get really fat. And we got two flowering trees here. Uh, then we have this one. This is um, hydrangea called vanilla strawberry. It's gonna be changing colors as you can see starting to change already to pink and then my wife designed a heart shaped below it with some rock that we got from uh, menards and then we have our trellis area with some more hydrangeas uh that one is a uh, wisteria and we got another wisteria over there with some uh, salvia here Another version of salvia, it's called cat's pajama down there, the small one. Alium, it's an onion plant, it does a bloom, kind of like this one. This one was a globe alium, so that one bloomed already. And then we spray painted it to keep it, you know, semi looking alive still. I don't know what those two are. Uh, that one is a, uh, a lily, I think. That one, I don't know what that one is. I think that's a double play doozy, it's called. Uh, and we have another hydrangea back there. And then we have hollies. They were supposed to have white flowers on it for the summer. But I do see that this holly over here is getting something on it. And maybe those will be the red berries that come out in the winter. Um, forgot what this one was called. This is, um, uh, it's a version of an azalea, but I forgot the exact name of it. We planted, this one was planted like maybe 15 years ago, maybe a little bit longer than that. And then we planted these three right here. We planted those this year. Uh, then we got a uh, new fencing we're gonna be putting up in the back, we'll show you that. We're gonna be mulching another area, show you that. So that takes care of this area. So this is basically our living room area. And then we grill right here. So now we'll go up to the upstairs part. It's not a lounging area, our deck area to the pool. So this is new this year, this furniture set. So I got this furniture set from Amazon with a uh, portable fire pit that uses ethanol, bioethanol fuel to light up. We used to have this umbrella down below, but we moved it up here to kind of create some shade for this area. 
we do have a speaker system. There's speakers in the bigger gazebo down there, and then there's speakers up here, and then they have speakers on the outside of this gazebo. And then we got this fan light combo thing. So it's a fan, a light, different kinds of light that um, illuminate from it. The fan, you really don't feel too much. Should have been a bigger fan. Uh, I did refinish that wall over there. So we have um, new paint on that wall. We painted the deck white, the floor white this year. Last year it was brown. And then we have our pool 27 foot round uh, with a main drain in it, it slopes down to the middle. So it's about maybe five and a half feet in the middle and about maybe three or four feet on the edges here. Uh, we got these lights on the deck, got those from Target. They came as a pack of two for 20. So that's this area. So now we'll go down to the back lower area where we did some more planting. So this is the new area we're gonna mulch. We're gonna be doing a window right here and a new window here, glass block windows. Uh, we did new um, crisscross underneath there. It used to be brown, now it's white. Put down this new carpet and also that new carpet running down across the deck. Another hose rail here that we put in with a post, concreted it, and then we put in this um, solar powered light that lights up at night, so you'll see that later on. And we planted some more thujas back here. This is the rose area, so we got roses right there. Rose tree, some more cat's pajama here. Uh, I forgot what those two were called. But then, yeah, this is another area that my wife and I did. Uh, with uh, limiter and mulching and we have wisteria, wisteria over here clematis over here forgot what this tall one was called but last year we planted some alien I think that doubled and then these are lemon meringues they're called some more alien peonies in the back there another climbing rose right there um, the fence we did a few years ago but over here is where we're going to be doing the rest of the fence that needs to get done so that's the last piece of fencing that needs to get done. So we'll be getting that done. And we have a few flowering trees back here. You know, these are redundas, I think. And we got some more redundas over there by that tree. Need to get this tree trimmed. So we're looking at at least probably cutting that piece down a little bit. And then also this one too, which is massive. So that one's a massive tree. But yeah, you'll see later on in the video, we'll show you how everything looks up lit up at night. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. If there's anything you want details on how we did stuff, by all means, please comment. And until the next time, we'll fix it with Jeff.